difficulty is going to be better. Yeah, I think so too. And then you've got and then you also, charge. You also have um, a little bit later on with the XR builds, you have... Deafening. No, um, I'm actually thinking of Alacrity. Yeah. Putting onto the gyrocopter. Even onto because yourself. It, it's such a huge increase in damage when you have flat cannon going. It's like Alacrity early even on this Invoker. I've been winning lanes for him. We saw the Invoker from ATN uh, last week or two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. 1v1 to Darkseer with Alacrity. You just right click down, it's like three clicks onto a, onto a melee creep with Iron Shell and it's gone. Hmm. It's a ton of damage because it's been buffed a couple of times recently. Yeah. It's one of those forgotten abilities. Fly is going to be caught out here. He does have charge, so he should be fine. Unless they get the right cast at the right time. Unless, well, okay, Ion Shell actually allows them to be able to challenge Elisa. She's going to have to throw out the cast defensively now. And burn through a lot. Oh, now the Surge comes out. They have level 2 on the... Uh, they're going to definitely need the Oscar's help. Fly does not commit, though. He could have gotten first blood, but it probably would have been a guaranteed death on him. Now it may still be a death. He's forced to charge out the Iron Shell. They're going for Elisa to get the kill. Oh, Elisa, why did you come back like that? They just waited out. They would have had a cast soon. Moonyander is giving up oh, his no. life in exchange for going for screen, but double kill on Supreme as it actually works out just fine for ATN. Even if they, I mean, if the Witch Doctor didn't come back like that, easy double kill and first blood for them. But unfortunately, he gave away first blood. And they're charging back up on the screen again. Yeah, they burned through some serious amount of regen. He still does not have level 2 on fly. And not going to be close enough to take advantage of Ion Shell. Why the hell are people in chat saying Sunstrike is magical damage? It's definitely pure. Yes. Yeah, that's I, right. I'm not and going crazy. And it pierces magic community, which was a change like three patches ago. It, it's ridiculously good. Well, it looks like we are going to have a Quasuex build on our hands. Eh, you still don't know. That's yeah, true. I, I suppose you can go with a Cold Snap early. Cast, bouncing back to Moon Manor. They do get some damage. They're going to go on a Supreme. The Snowball's still ready to go, though, and that'll stall up fly enough that they can get the kill quite easily, as he will be burning out slowly but surely. Your bones will make a this duel lane's not really working out for monkey business. They, they may turn things around soon now that, like, regen is rapidly running out for this tri lane. And obviously, Exotic Deer needs his, his courier as much as possible, so. This is Miracle's first pro invoker game. I'm looking forward to it. Alright, he finally gets the Wex. So, Quas Wex confirmed. Thanks to that Phage guy. He's, he's got, what, 223 pro games so far. Oh, well, here we go. Magic in the making. But apparently he plays a lot of Invoker in pubs. So, you know, he's, like you said, definitely very mechanically enhanced on uh, on a lot of heroes. And, yeah, of course, Vex it is. I'll probably go for the hunting build. Yeah. Phase boots into Orchid, run around with the Ghost Walk and go for pickoffs. How's Nisha doing? I haven't really looked at him between uh, that top lane getting so much action, obviously wanting to check out the middle lane, which is currently being charged. Why they they get a ball? Oh, we got a bash. That means the EMP guaranteed lands a tornado ensures the kill or not. Oh, he finally gets it. They do have a beautiful block out from screen that might be able to get the kill on Miracle. He still has a pulse potion to keep himself alive a little bit longer. LE slash can't quite get it in screen. Well, he's got another six seconds until I shards up, but they can't go for the kill. That cask bounce almost secures the life of the Shadow Fiend, but holy crap, that was close. Yeah. A long range projectile from downtown Miracle just launches it out onto the SF. And this, this frees things up on the other lanes, you know. No tail still falling away down low. Here they are. They're going to block him out. Oh, good. Tornado hits on three. The race going to miss out. Exotic Deer is actually underneath the tower, though, because of that. He's going to die, most likely. He's going to get run down by uh, Moon Meander with that Ion Shell. He's not quite in range, though. Needs a He's little bit speed. more. He's finally got the movement speed. Exotic Deer tries to go for the Juke, but can't get it. Moon Meander, healthy enough, will be able to escape on top of everything else. And things are beginning to tilt a bit for ATN in this middle lane. Nisha, nice. Gets the good set of cogs at the right time. <laughs> oh, goodness. Nisha? Are going at? Oh, I, I just went back to the uh, Twitch chat to see the... the reaction to the, the yeah. Sunstrike thing. 
2K chat. Come on now. We expected better from Join Dota chat. How, how the roles are reversed. Nisha oh, is dead. No. Oh no! Oh the Shots bash! Fly. Oh Is my god, me? these bashes fly! Please get a hold of yourself, man. Holy cow. Alright, four to three right now. The comeback monkey business, they are coming back into this game even faster than they were uh, in game one. They lost out on that top lane pretty heavily, but now with the rotations of Moon, they're, they're winning uh, both middle and bottom lane. He's ready to go for another round in this middle lane if uh, he sees the opportunity. Radiant's top tower is under attack. So they built stacks up, yeah? Yeah, Screen is actually building things up in the jungle for the Shadow Fiend, who's having a torrid time at mid. I can't believe Miracle is doing so well, but they'll see the Observer Ward placed by the Radiant. They know there's high ground vision here, and I guess they'll try and sentry that out as quickly as they can. But this Spirit Breaker causing nuisance everywhere he goes, and look how much pressure they're putting on this middle lane. Even with the two Observer Wards out here scouting for movement. Oh, it's, it's always so dangerous it to, to stack against the Darkseer. Doesn't look like... Oh, maybe they will be punished. They're going to see Screen. The charge is coming out. Screen needs some help. Has a Snowball. So we'll be able to buy himself some time. Good Casket. Ice Shards coming out. But no, he just burns out from that Ion Shell. Now the EMP has L. is going to be forced back. Supreme has his level 6, though. Tornado goes out and finishes off the Witch Doctor. Now Miracle. He'll be able to get out as well. As it seems, our SF bounce back, not going to be able to get fly, gets to the neutrals and denies himself. Beautifully set out. Now, No Tail's going to come in. Oh, what an ultimate this is going to be. Tries to go for Supreme, turns back around for Exotic Deer, which is the guaranteed kill. And a Supreme? I mean, you can't just look and walk away from this one, right? You got to oh battle it gosh. out. Supreme has no HP left, though. 20 HP. The black, the black kills oh, oh, my God. He gets it. Just oh, a little no, bit no, of no. HP. Now, Elise Sash is done for as well. Monkey business. Every step of the way, they have ATN countered. How does that even happen? Oh, my goodness. You don't even know what to say about this game oh. anymore. It's oh. just like ATN. <laughs> all, all I wanted to talk about was the two wards here from the Dire are watching for the Shadow Fiend so heavily. They want to keep him secured and this lane on lockdown as much as they can. Stop Miracle from dominating with the rotations coming in from the Spirit Breaker and Darkseer. And then move the Shadow Fiend into the jungle to farm. Yeah. But that one movement, that one movement from the Spirit Breaker Darkseer to go across and then up. Force the Shadow Fiend Witch Doctor, uh, yeah, the Shadow Fiend Witch Doctor to back themselves up and then to come in, and then the rest of Alternate just had to dogpile in to try and save the stacks and save the, uh, save a little bit of gold they saved up for them, and they can't find this ward. Team Alternate, two sentries, can't find it. Exotic Deer, is he dead? It looks like it. Yeah. He knows it. Oh, oh Snowball saved, maybe? No, Miracle still gets it. They do have the cask, and he's not able to get out of it. Oh, the cask bounce, bounce to him, too. Maybe with the wand, he can survive through this one. He's got a lot of movement speed, but the hook shot actually catches him. He was trying to dodge that one. Meanwhile, in top lane, Huskar goes down. You bring enough magic damage to the table, apparently you can still kill the Huskar, especially since he only has level 3 uh, Berserker's Blood. Oh, uh, apparently he has played before. Uh, the Boca for Miracle. Oh, has but it, it just been not, an unticketed game? Yeah, not logged into uh, Dat Dota. Yeah, missed out game. The nice okay. first, then. But it's definitely not one of the heroes we've come to expect from him. But it's been performing so well. And actually, he's going for a pretty old school build, the phase drums. Something that we haven't seen in, in quite some time, honestly. You know, we've seen, oh god, Nisha. Well, it's working out really well. Yeah. Nisha's gonna have all his mana burned away. Does have enough for Mango, pops the cogs. He will be able to get the burnout. Tornado still lands though. Nisha is gonna, still going to die here. Turns around, tries to get as much damage as possible on a miracle, but it's not going to be enough for Elisash to finish off this invoker. Now the charge is coming in. Exotic Deer, he's got nowhere to run to. Yeah, this is a much more early game oriented build and something that we used to see a ton of back uh, like back when Syndrome was playing invoker, you know, back, back in what, 2013? When, when they won DreamHack back mm -hmm. ages ago. 
but the phase drums and then maybe even the Yules Invoker for the, the max movement speed build, basically. Very early game focus, mana regen, tank yourself up and just go. You just go on in. Right. Recently, it's been more the phase um, Orchid build and then back into the Midas to transition into Exhort. And then you go for you know, a little more mobility. It's Chris pulled down a bot lane with a good hook shot. Yeah. Should be his demise. But yeah, it's interesting to see that Miracle maybe is a little bit worried about the magic nuke power coming out from Team Alternate. As like ships in the night, he walks straight past the Shadow Fiend. Exotic like, Deer is only level 7. I was like, maybe he can make something happen with this invis, you know? But he doesn't even have Requiem, not even close to it. It's so bad for an SF to be this underleveled. They're going to be caught here. Eli Sanj, they're trying to set up for the race, but these heroes are just too tanky. Exotic Deer can't really stop this one unless with the help of Supreme. They're going to go for it now. The Yulpin gets laid out. Race on one, two, and they actually finish off the Dark Seer at the very least. Supreme pops his armlet and will continue to go for No Tail. Stopped by the Snowball. Tornado comes in. Maybe No Tail can actually get a kill here. He's going for Screen. Trying to finish him up. The Ultimate comes out for the SF and that gets the kill. So they'll fly. He's got Screen on lockdown with the Ultimate. Miracle comes in. He's going to run down Nisha underneath his tower. I'm sure of it. What? Hmm. They're letting him live? They have a Spirit Breaker. Those are two very tanky heroes. Why wouldn't they go for it? I'm not sure. Like, afraid of buybacks, maybe? I guess so. Oh, Buyback TP in from someone? Mercy? I still think <laughs> Clockwork Mercy could be there. Mercy from Miracle? I don't know. Got to be kidding me. After what they've done to him previously. Uh, Crit has been mega farming, by the way. Before he got caught out in that bottom lane, like he was just sitting there farming his heart's content. And he's going to have a very fast force staff at this rate. Hookshot actually catches him. They'll be able to get this kill. Uh-oh. But El Nisha, he's going to be caught out here. Looks like the Cog actually came in at the right time. Nisha's still dead. Witch Doctor trying to do what he can, but no tail's just too damn big. <laughs> level 11 gyrocopter. How do you deal with this? 12 minutes in, he's level up. Like, what? What's his experience per minute? It's it's got to be ridiculous if I can find the freaking button that tells. Experience me. per minute is 531. Yeah, See, I've I've got my keys memorized. Congrats, professional commentator. <laughs> who, who, I mean, who who really who presses it? XP per minute? Honestly, yeah, yeah no, I've got I've got the good ones memorized. Happened. Like kills, deaths, last hits, net worth, hero level, um, fantasy points. You know, <laughs> fantasy points. <laughs> I, I like, I'm considering actually taking out the hockey for that one. What? It's the best thing ever. Yeah, okay. I, I have actually taken out the uh, the fantasy points. There's, there's another one, right? Where you bring up the big scoreboard of fantasy points. Oh, I have no idea where that is. I think it's me meant to be like F11 or some some bollocks, but... Oh. 6.2 already on that tail. Oh. Alright, they're gonna get two. Ice Pass doesn't quite stretch to Exotic Deer, not that it matters. Like, that's... That's devastating. Yeah. And now they TP back, they farm, they maybe take the tier 2 I, here. Nisha, I don't think you really want to challenge anybody here. If you got a Blade Mail, you could challenge the Gyrocopter to see what happens, but that's uh, not it. Tusk is coming in. Ice shards. All right, they're just going in. They've actually got a really good setup here, but they don't get off the cogs. No tail. Actually getting away from this one. Gets off a lot of rocket barrage damage before he finally dies. The backing right back into the flames there. But Supreme keeps going. Will be able to catch crit as he burns out. Looks like Clockwork did end up dying there. They want him. They want to kill Husko, and he's dead. Yeah, there's no way he survives through this one. If they just get one, or just a permanent control there of the cold snap. Now Screen comes in, tries to finish off anyone. Hero, but he can't quite get it. Maybe the nukes come in. One kill. Second one, Moon Meander, he will die here is. Yep, they get that one. The Witch Doctor chased away Miracle, who's playing cat and mouse games now with ATN, hiding himself in the trees until he's ready to pop back out as Cold Snap ready to go. I didn't actually expect him to go for the drums Yules. I thought he'd go drums and then still into the Orchid, but he, he's fully committing for this build. Movement speed on movement speed, yeah. man. Weird. Can't believe no Orchid. Well, there's the mech done. now for the SF. It's, Finally here. It's 14 minutes in. 25 to 12. I swear it feels like we've had half an hour of game already. Yeah. Once again, there. ATN drafted this kind of lineup that's not meant to slow down the game. And they just like lose a little bit early and it just starts going against them as time goes on. Further and further. Now we're seeing trade-offs.
five for one situations like that. Hookshot does land on the crit. And no cogs. Nishi doesn't actually catch him. They wanted to go for Miracle, it looks like, and they will be able to get that. That kill at the very least. The charge comes right on through. Setting up No Tail. No Tail not actually throwing out his ultimate. It looks like he used it to farm, but he does have a BKB. Still the fight just went out. What a vacuum. That's the setup they really needed with the ice path over the top. ATN gets destroyed by that one. No Tail almost dies. Screen. Go for the kill. Snowball. He gets it. He managed to get the kill. Finally, Fly's going to come back in. Screen managed to finish off another one, but it looks like Crit with another ultimate. He'll be able to help uh, kill Elizash and Screen. Well, he doesn't have anything, so Charge plus Yearn. All the burn damage in the world should be able to get his final death on ATN. Three for five exchange, but Fly comes out the big winner there. 2,200 gold on him right now. That's with your invoker dead for 90% of the fight as well. Yeah. Perfect vacuum wall. Ice pads galore from crit oh man fly is now level 11 on the spirit breaker and yeah like you said a ton of gold but team alternate they just kept getting wiped wipe after wipe nisha with the blade mail is good the huskar just hasn't had the chance to get that sort of free-flowing movement through a team fight just yet maybe now they're gonna actually get a good hook try and nisha catches both and trap one of the cogs crit oh boy he's in trouble you'll set with Myrtle. actually gonna save crit here and nisha oh, the new has no way to get back in Poor staff finally finished up for Jakiro. <laughs> Grit's like, I need this. Like, the the, the, the damned uh, clockwork. He knows the only, like, really good hero for him to go on is going to be that Jakiro. So Crit is just the target of this onslaught of hook shots every single time. But no longer, now that we have the four staff. Let's go in. Wait, Sonic Deer. Charge, snowball, the charge, okay, tornado actually stops it, but still, they have the cast, maybe they can keep, no, there's just too much burn damage, he can't possibly survive, not without the mana for a mech, and ATN, well, time to back themselves away, they cannot challenge monkey business for this tier 2 tower. Do I really sound like John Oliver? No, you're just English, that's all. <laughs> You're just English. I, I mean, let's be real. That's that's the only like, you know, the meme with me is Zanky. Do I really look like Zanky? <laughs> no. Um, I'm very thin. I'm very frail. I do not have much muscle on me. Uh, all right, Zanky. But I have a mohawk, so I must be Zanky. Okay, anti mage. <laughs> I mean, anti mage. Even that one doesn't fit. I've got a belly, guys. <laughs> anti mage has got like a. You know, 24 pack or something. 24. Yeah, not six, not eight, 24. Abs for days. His abs have abs. Abception. All right, monkey business start. They're down to slow this game a little bit. I mean, they've won such a big advantage. They're soon gonna have a crimson guard on fly. I was like, are you going to go Shadow Blade with all that money? Like, what are you going to do? It's a support, you know, when you hit the jackpot and you survive through a fight and you get kills, it's like mana from heaven, right? You're like, oh, God, I can buy an item. Wow. A full item. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Spirit Breaker actually opts for the uh, very team fight focus Crimson Guard. So, that's pretty legit. I like the idea. Against Death Ward, against the uh, presence of the Dark Lord from the Shadow Fiend as well. It's, it's okay against Oscar, I guess. Right click physical damage, but they're gonna. Oh, oh god. 383 is about to become. Oh no. What? He stops to. Oh, it's in fly. Oh, the first hit bash. Why not? Fly's gonna be. Oh no, the hook shot misses. Now they're in a bad position. The No Tail pops the BKB. They get the vacuum back in. Kill screen. Exotic Deer is being forced away. Meanwhile, Huskar on the left hand side is actually going in for Miracle, but the Yule Scepter prevents Huskar from being able to finish him off. And Nisha will end up being down. Now they're gonna be corralled in. ATM are stuck underneath their tier 2 tower. Supreme's just gonna have to fight his way out of this one, but he's being kited around. Now he's gonna be dying. Elisa, she'll fall as well as No Tail hunts him down. Triple kill for gyro <laughs> the one guy who survives is the shadow fiend who got initiated on. gets himself yeah. back to base just by walking but the rest of his team they paid the ultimate price losing every single hero and now it's high ground time we almost have two kills a minute for just one team just just one of the teams almost has two kills a minute monkey business get another wipe here in the next 30 seconds and 
Let's see. Uh, Zoning EMP. That's one way to stop him from uh, getting to the defense of this tier 3 tower. Nisha looking for the opening. Blocked out by Ali Sash and uh, Monkey Business aren't going to throw away their leads by making a hasty team fight. Looks like they may back up. Do they have a smoke or anything? Thinking that they, they could re engage with a, a smoke, but. A fake back. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. I mean, who needs a smoke when you have this much map vision? The only thing that the dire seed is, uh, side has seen is that they haven't left the jungle yet. Only no tail just now being revealed. Roshan is up, but Huskar has never had a moment to breathe to try and get that one. When was the last time they crossed the river? Oh, wait. Never. Yeah, Tier 1s are still all standing 20 minutes in. They know EMP with a charge. That pick off, monkey business. That's actually 40 seconds on the clock for the Witch Doctor. I'm not sure how he's got that long of a death timer. He's level 11. But, yeah. Maybe he's... I guess I feel like maybe he's been the last one to die in a lot of these team fights, so maybe he's gotten the experience from some of the, the few kills that ATN has gotten. Like, he was actually out leveling the clockwork. Until just now. Clockwork is just at level 11 behind the Witch Doctor. Yeah. <laughs> They're all almost the same level. Huskar just took level 12. That's either a really good sign or a really <laughs> bad sign when you're all the same level. <laughs> no tail trying to get MKB. Why don't they go for Roshan for themselves? Hmm. I guess they don't have a medallion or anything like that. They don't have a massive amount of physical damage. You actually don't have a single point in Exort for Miracle. He's gone full wax, four class. And without Midas, obviously, he's not going to be uh, getting a great amount of levels. Oh, Tornado God. EMP. Oscar, have fun with your mana pool. Wow. He actually has to pop magic wands in fights at max magic wand just to get in our vitality. He has to deal with an EMP in the beginning of a fight. Rough times, rough times. Tragic stuff. Reminds me of the days when people were pushing with Centaur and stuff like that. You know, Centaur, Brewmaster, Spirit Breaker trying to push into towers and the Cinder and Invoker would cover with Tornado EMP and just stop them. Yeah. Have to have to buy three arcane boots per team just to try and deal with the EMP. Miracle. You, you're hunting this. Nisha, oh, the smoke is popped. They're gonna catch one. Oh, they actually jump in and they get a cog, but Crit immediately gets down. The Ice Shards doesn't block out. Miracle, he's still gonna be able to fight this one. They stop doing Roshan, come back in. No tail pops his BKB. Supreme, he's just not doing any damage whatsoever, but the Witch Doctor Ultimate was doing a lot until he gets stopped by the tornado. Now they have the setup of the wall, and they're gonna be able to catch Exotic Deer. Can't get off his ultimate. Oscar goes down as well. Screen, I mean, the cat stops a lot. Witch Doctor's actually doing the most damage in all this fight from AT. End, but they will still lose him, and it's only going to be Nisha as well as Screen's Tusk. They managed to stay alive, and Monkey Business go right back to finishing up Roshan. The full extraction for No Tail. He drops to like 100 HP, gets himself to the very back of the fight, and the rest of the team just uh, herd ATN back towards their base. But you're right, Roshan is going to be taken finally after that team fight, and putting it onto No Tail, I guess. Bloodstone on Mooney Ender. You know, the, the casual talks here, Bloodstone, as you do. But 11 charges now up on him. <laughs> Top lane, tier 1 tower is dropping fast. It's going to be the Creeps being the MVP for ATN, taking the first objective of this game. They can't, even no. with the full range creep. Not yet. Maybe another push. Another day, Creeps. Another creep. Another day. Creep another day. Do it with flair. Shadow Fiend? Fake cancelling. Or fake casting and then cancelling. Yeah, I mean, what can you do, right? There's nothing you can... Does he even have full souls? You, no. can't, you can't go farm at this... Like, you have to wait for them to push farm into your base. Yeah, There's he, nothing else you can do. He needs to clear through three waves or so. Supreme, stop. Huskar can't be taking these creeps. Because he can't go and farm this jungle and flash farm that. Yeah. They need to give him these waves. Or give him the bottom lane. Like, Nisha, does he really need to farm this? I don't think so. For four staff? Why do we need Huskar and SF on the same Wait, lane, guys? He has four staff. Yeah, I have no idea what's going on. 
Let's be real, I don't think ATN are either. <laughs> I mean... Shots fired! <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty sure they're, they're kind of lost in the sauce at this point in time. They... Well, the They've shot, been shot dying. The yeah, it's one of those games where you've died so many times, you're just like, I don't even know what's yeah. happening. I've got full souls, right, guy? Uh, oh, the game just oh, hasn't ended. No, I don't. If, uh, you've got a 20,000 lead by 25 minutes. Pretty good. Oscar can be happy that there's like no direct counter to him. Yeah. There's no AA, there's... No oh, massive amount of physical damage. So yeah, I think that really is the thing, right? That if he can get it flowing, then well, well, monkey business don't have great high ground heroes. Like gyrocopter's not very good. Invoker is probably not amazing. Uh, Jake heroes, I guess, the best hero that they have actually going high ground. But they don't want to get huskard. I mean, it's still early on to the game. Huskar is still an incredibly large threat. So monkey business have been playing this just a bit slow, making sure that they keep the advantage. Coco nuts never stop. <laughs> and I like how, like, by the time if you stretch out that cask enough, where it's always it bounce does the full amount of bounces, but it does like really, really long drawn out bounces, you actually have another cask up. By the time it finishes up. All right. Bye bye mana. Oh, Supreme gets off inner vitality, but boy, he drops so low. All right, monkey business are being very disciplined in their push. It's like the safest push I've ever seen with this large of a gold lead. They disable you from being able to respond, chip down the tier three, back up, rinse and repeat. Every single time they get some damage from no tail, some damage from the uh, liquid fire. So Stop the homing missile. Stop the cask bouncing. Is that Look, maxed out homing missile? It is. The four that will both. Hook shot in. They've got crit. They're going to try and go for a good set of cogs here, but No-Tail just pops BKB. Tries to man fight Supreme up, and he's being controlled up by Fly as well. Supreme is going to be dropping here pretty soon if they have the physical damage. The vacuum goes out. Exotic here. Let's lose the ultimate. The damage reduction is big, and that means Supreme is actually going to be able to turn and fight against No-Tail. No-Tail can't win that man fight, as they do still pick up the kill on the toss. The Tornado goes team. out. Elisa, she's going to be forced away. No Tail actually does end up dying and losing that Aegis. Supreme is going ham right now, but it's just not enough damage. He survives through everything. They're actually going to come back in. Exotic Deer pops BKB. They're locked inside the cogs. That's not a great position, even with the BKB. Miracle slowing him down. The Shivas goes out. Miracle will be able to get out. And looks like No Tail in deep is finally able to finish off the Huskar, but it costs him his own life. So that's worth the trade off there for ATN. His Huskar is now going to buy back. Miracle. They're going to TP in. There's the ult. Can he get him? Uh, well, that's a mistake. That, that's not the ult. That's, that's uh... Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> He's healing through it. He's got Ghost. Oh, oh my god, okay. Huskar, why? One more hit, man. <laughs> why didn't you just keep going? Dude. He's got, like, four levels of quas. <laughs> he knows it. He gives him... Ha <laughs> 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 ha! Wow. Tragic stuff, man. So the buyback does nothing for them. I mean, you saw that time. If you get off the damage reduction from the SF ultimate, and you already have such limited damage, physical damage on your team, Huskar is like impossible to kill. Yeah. They managed to force him back, but yeah, you know, no tell give his life for him. A Huskar who literally had half the net worth of the opposing enemy carry actually killed No Tail. And that was really messing up a little bit, so... Yeah, that's how bad the gyrocopter is versus Huskar. Oh. Supreme, he needs some big items. I wonder if he does go for a VKB, though. Because the only thing really annoying him is the little sort of ticks of damage when he is armor toggling, the sort of... Uh, you know, rocket barrage, liquid fire, stuff like that. Even though it is heavily mitigated, it still can finish him off. Flat cannon's pretty annoying, too, but... I don't know. Evasion? He's, he's going for the AC, actually. Oh, wow. I thought maybe casual plate mail then for like a BKB or the, uh, the Halberd wouldn't be awful. Mm -hmm. You've got Shiva's Guard over a miracle. And now, finally, the points in Exor is building up the alacrity. 90 bonus attack speed. Is he going Aghanims? 
Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. So it gives that one extra level. Spells. I mean, who has BKB? Shadow Fiend, that's it, right? The Deathling Blast is going to be so good against Team Alternate. A big AoE Deathling Blast a little bit earlier on. Oh. Goodbye, Sweet Prince. Witch Doctor, you were... <laughs> you were the hope of ATN. But I just want to ward! I'm not sure why he's going so aggressively toward, though. Yeah, you really don't need much, much vision that far out. You just need like, vision around your base. Yeah, like just put a, put a ward up on your high ground. Try and de ward this as well if they knew about it. Also, send Tusk or Clockwork or one of those heroes to ward. Let's be real. Witch Doctor is way more useful at this point. Is his cask and uh, paralyzing, uh, paralyzing cask and death ward have been. Two of the biggest factors for ATN in these team fights. They're holding onto their base though. That's uh, a single Rax has fallen and some monkey business. Are they just waiting for the next rush down here? Find out when he respawns in about a minute or so, 50 seconds. Can't get Huskard, man. Gotta make sure they are safe. I also think that there's still a chance that they'll lose this game, honestly. Slim chance. Which is very absurd, but. <laughs> <laughs> With this kind of lead, 25,000 net worth lead. But then you look at the Invoker, he's gone for like utility items, he's not gone for any any big DPS items. And before I get flamed, I'm I'm gonna preface this with Ferrari used to do this on Wex Invoker. Go for the AC Desolator. And then go into uh -huh. the Alacrity. Just to like secure I like, I like how you <laughs> you lead that <laughs> statement with Ferrari did it guys, don't flame me. Yeah. <laughs> All right, that's uh, that actually right. sounds really legit against Oscar, and and against buildings. Like if you want to secure that high ground push, having like double forge spirits once you get up there with AC Deso, it just allows you that little more you know, firepower for taking down buildings. And I have to prefer stuff like that because I get called out for my sort of uh, thoughts on item builds quite a lot. <laughs> Like, why, why is he flaming this pro player's item build? What? He's, he's talking about Desolator and Invoker? Oh my god, 2k caster! <laughs> yeah, this is all just, uh... <laughs> just, uh... What, what is it? Uh, stream of consciousness, guys? That's what casting is. Yeah, we just talk. Eh. You think any of this is planned out? No. <laughs> it just... It just comes, it pops into our brain and pops out of our mouths. Yeah, we, we've seen it once in like a pub game, but in our brains we sort of attribute it to some pro player and like, yeah, that, that, that worked. That happened. It's a good build. Alright, that, that meatball is gonna go for forever and ever and ever. Look how far it goes. Nisha actually initiated on a miracle. They're gonna try and pop him here. The old scepter buys him a little bit of time to throw everything they have at him. He actually gets out of this one! No! No! Miracle! Don't let him escape again! Oh no, he got out and they blew so much for it too! The shards plus cogs pushing him back and out. And charge forward, oh the what? <laughs> Wait, what? Nisha forced him onto the That's not ground. where Exotic Deer wanted to be, Nisha. Why did you do this? Alright, Supreme versus No Tail. Round two, or not. No inner vitality for you. All right, finally Arax is dying. Snowball goes out, cast gets. No tail, bounce it back to you. All right, he's gonna just man fight it up with this extra life steal. Now he doesn't care. Oh, nice vacuum, catching four there. They're gonna surge on four. They manage to get the tornado. Ice wall on top, Exotic here, just forced to pop his BK. The ultimate gets laid out and will be chased down by Moon Man to punch him. But can't quite get him. Round two, punch him again. No, we got him. like no damage. All right, Supreme, uh, you no longer win the man fight against No Tail. The SF was now that you're now that your burning spears doesn't mean anything against Satanic. This fight is over. And with the death slayer on Moonbander, he will fall. That's it. Game number two finally ends. Fifty kills for Monkey Business in 34 minutes. Good stuff. Well done. And that was even with moments of like downtime. We actually had, I think, like, you know, good 